Okay, so we're here at 907 Malcolm Avenue in Los Angeles. Uh, we had a quick little look underneath the house. We could see pretty much all cast iron piping. Uh, we, we're here to check the main sewer line. You're going to have the general inspector. He's going to crawl under the house. He's going to do a more thorough inspection of the sewer line, and he'll give you his report. Um, we're running our camera from a clean out located outside of the house. I probably will, because whatever we saw on the cast iron looked a little rusty. Wouldn't be a bad idea if they had an end of a line clean out to the outside, run a cable with a blade through the cast iron to descale it as much as possible until it's time to replace the pipe. Uh, nevertheless, we've got our camera in from the 4-inch cleanout and we're all the way out to the city connection. Now, when we ran the camera in, we got to the property line where the pipe was blocked with heavy roots. The, uh, the, the um, real estate agent for the seller, he saw it with his own eyes. He saw the roots in the pipe. He gave us permission to go ahead, hydrojet the line so we could complete our inspection. Um, right now, we're actually at the city connection. You can see massive roots in the pipe. There's got these big ficus trees over here. So we're going to pull the camera back. Bring the camera. You see there's the connection to the city. Just go in a little more. Looks like somebody did a cured in place pipe lining over here. And uh, you can see the roots have come in through the lining at the end of the line. These linings are basically a temporary fix when heavy tree roots are here. They don't really stop the roots from growing. There's nothing much you're going to do be able to do about this. Running a cable with a blade will destroy the lining. Eventually, running a hydrojetter continuously will break the lining as well. The pipe needs to be replaced. Let's bring the camera back. So there's the connection to the city. You can see the massive roots. It actually looks like they may have even gone too far into the city with that lining. So let's keep coming back. It's got the lining over here going into the street. And normally what happens is the line, that's our hydrojetter that we hydrojetted. Uh, normally what happens is they grow and come out the beginning or the, or the end of the lining. A lot of times we've seen a root grow right through the linings, but that's normally what happens is because the lining doesn't really adhere to the host pipe and the roots continue growing and they show up on either end. Once that happens, you're pretty much done. You can see the lining looks fine, but the ends of the lining is what's it's done. It's finished. You're going to keep coming back. You're going to get to the property line real soon. Right over here. You see the heavy roots over there? That's at the beginning of the lining. Look, those are tremendous roots over there. Look at that. Okay. That's there, and they did a little repair there. They should have put a clean out over there, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at this point. We're going to come back to a cast iron pipe. It's obviously getting a little old. Um, definitely shouldn't be flushing tampons, baby wipes, paper towels, things like that. Uh, we're definitely going to recommend that the uh, line in the street be replaced. This cast iron pipe is obviously getting a little old. It doesn't look too bad considering. It does have some rust buildup, but, you know, you can always run a blade through it to descale a little bit. It really doesn't look that bad. Um, I don't think it's any pointless trying to clean any more of those roots out because it's pointless at this point. Just keep coming back. recommend doing in the street the sewer mm. for you. Yeah. Okay. okay, show the front here. Oh, there's the house. We'll go ahead, stop the recording over here.